is Taylor Smith, and I chose one of the photo books that was remarked as one of the best photo books of 2018 by Times Magazine. Um, this is a hardback book, however, I purchased this on um, Amazon through the Kindle app, so I'm visually experiencing it on my computer. Um, I originally chose this because of the striking image on the front. The obvious, the bright red tones bring attention to the hands in the picture, um, which is also discussed in the foreword of the book. Um, the book is 240 pages, and it includes a brief history on Vivian Meyer, as well as some um, people that were involved in obtaining these images, um, and as well as other street photographers that took notice of her work. So let me just go through here. It includes a lot of self-portraits of her, as well as a lot of um, pedestrian witnessing of people. Um, her brief history was that she was a nanny for 40 years, and I found out about her before I was in this specific class, and I watched a movie of her and her work um, in a previous class, I believe, and I really enjoyed learning about her story. Uh, she basically took many photos throughout her lifetime, about 100,000 photos, um, as this unassuming nanny, and she never developed the majority of her work. Uh, and they were auctioned off and uncovered, and there was a collector that was attempting to bring her photos to life and allow the public to see her work. So what I like to see a lot of her work, um, what I've been noticing in the pictures that are included were some of the texts that were taken and how kind of they were composed. This is still the introduction, so there's not a lot of sequencing. She does a lot of self-portraiture here. Um, but I did notice that when there were items that were paired, they had similar color schemes. So although this is her self-portrait, the flowers kind of match the flowers in this bag. And this was curated by somebody else that looked at her photos. So then we see a sequence of portraits and images taken. And we kind of see a portrait over somebody else's head here. A picture of wedding. And then her self-portrait by just of items that were her trademark. So in a smaller size, this we have sequence of feet and almost injury or wear and tear. We see the back of people's heads. So this one, I zoomed in a little bit, but this one was paired with a car crash. We have two kids that were falling. A lot of portraits here. Um, but I also noticed that there's a sprinkling of her own pictures, um, almost paying homage to her secrecy and how she kind of squeezed in to capture all those pedestrian moments. So uh, I stated something about uh, play on words here. I find this interesting. This, this girl's looking at a poster on a different side, but from the inside of the window, you can read 
If no one claims me in 30 days, I am yours. I felt that was quite interesting. And then here it says heaven can wait and there's an angel, but then she has herself taking a picture almost with the angel inside her. I feel like that could be interpreted in a different way. We have some intense looks here. People on a public transportation. A lot of color series here. You have a lot of reds. You continue to see the backs of people in these. So this one, you have the man in the window and then <laughs> this one was paired in the same page when it was zoomed out. And this is a theme of sexuality. We have some emotion here. And when she did some traveling, we have another color scheme with the yellows. And then we have the cover page. And it finishes with her self portraits. So overall, I feel like the sequencing had to do with the viewers means of arranging based on the patterns that they saw. He did state in the introduction that he had to look through hundreds of photos and then cut them down to a handful to, to place in this book. Um, and I think he did a really good job at pairing things that seem very similar. Um, he made sure to sprinkle in, again, her self-portraits with the witnessing of other individuals on the street and then had patterns and themes that were paired well together. Um, I would just say that the, uh, the influence that I had was my interest in her story originally from the documentary that I watched. And from there, I just, I really enjoy seeing her work um, because it does at first seem very commonplace um, in what she photographs. But as a whole, and when you see all of it together, it really puts um, an interesting appeal to who she is as a person, especially when she is sprinkling in a lot of her self-portraits. So overall, I really enjoyed it.